Good afternoon, guys. My name is Arnaud Jeanne. I'm the Chief Road Stewards for PRL and also Director. Uh, today, we're looking at novelties and guidelines for Season 1, 2023. So, starting with our values and mission, our goal is to provide fun, fair, and competitive racing for everyone. So, for the Stewards team, that means transparency, and you can expect that from us throughout all the season. So, uh, first thing, uh, what's going on here? Yes, all right, so, um, rules change. So we have made a small modification from uh, from the last year's uh, last season's uh, rules to the team and car selection. So mainly to the car selection uh, bit. Um, so roughly, we are giving us uh, new rights to remove a driver that is in breach of this specific rule during a race session. So roughly, you can always. Uh, you know, in GT4s and GT3s, you can change cars during the season. It costs you uh, 20 uh, championship points, but you can also, but you can do that only once. So uh, once you do that, uh, for the further car changes, you will be uh, disqualified. But if there is an admin in the session, he can remove you from the session. So that's the little uh, addition we made there. Um, as for guidelines, um, so of course we're still going for uh, a passive stewarding uh, system, so you still have to uh, submit pro uh, protest after the race, you have 48 hours to do so, uh, it needs of course the replay file, and the penalties are mainly championship points, in race or season suspension when it comes to that. The only thing we uh, I wanted to add here, so of course you have to assume the, the best from drivers around you. Right? So we are in the league, most drivers have been there for a couple of seasons, um, and, and if they're still there, I've probably seen them uh, race, and uh, they're, they're mainly vetted, but there's always, you know, people, always people coming in and uh, coming out, so assume the best from these guys. Take the time to review the incident, maybe uh, sit in your the other guy's chair just before submitting the protest, give uh, them the benefit of the doubt, of course you can Always use private messaging on the forum to exchange or maybe Discord. And the thing I would hide here is, especially for this season, ask yourself, what could I done have done better to avoid this uh, this incident, right? So sometimes we are seeing drivers making mistakes, small mistakes, then get rear-ended. Um, and there's nothing we can do to give your race back, right? So it's always... Uh, fun to race and, uh, and and you know stay stay on the track so for for the whole this race distance so again take the time to review uh, incidents before submitting any protest um, as for the process itself no changes really uh, so again I will be making those uh, YouTube videos for um, for everyone to review the incidents again for mainly um, information and transparency and of course all um, uh, all uh, stewards decision can be appealed throughout uh, the season um, the penalty matrix uh, small uh, small change here um, as for we have again three uh, three system um, three levels of penalty so warning uh, minor and major and uh, so the addition we're making here is in the minor uh, penalty category uh, for any lap one incidents, we want to give a minimum of 10 points <clears throat> instead of starting with five. Uh, again, we want to make sure that people take their time on lap one uh, since, you know, everyone has practice and it's uh, such a bummer just to, uh, you know, to step a race after only one lap or, or less. <laughs> so that's the small addition we've made there. And I think that uh, that wraps it up. For me today so enjoy season one uh at prl and hope to see you on the track guys